In today's story, we see how there were some soldiers who were calling out and thanking Padre Pio. Some soldiers in a time of war, and we live in certain uncertain times right now, possible conflicts and things like that. So let's have a look at how Padre Pio was able to help in similarly hostile situations. In other words, can God still work in these situations? So it's a message of inspiration and hope. Please do continue watching. Hello friends of Following Padre Pio. On this channel we bring you a series of short stories on the incredible life of our great saint Padre Pio who was a Capuchin friar, he was a mystic, he was a tremendous miracle worker. Do stay tuned to find out more about Padre Pio and also to find out what his intercession could do for you. We also wish to thank our protected child of Padre Pio patrons for all of your support. You make these videos possible and we do ask for Padre Pio's prayers and blessing in your lives. And anyone who wants to be part of the protected child of Padre Pio patron program then please see the video on the end screen. And just a quick reminder that during Lent, we do offer a selection of Padre Pio videos, especially for Lent, to help us all make a good Lent. So you can click on the video link in the description below. Just go to the description below, click on the link, and it will take you through to this week's selection of Lenten videos. And now we continue with our Padre Pio story. And the following took place in World War II. And one evening, and this was 1944, all the monks in the monastery, they were now gathered. That Everything was locked up because it was quite late. It was after dinner. And so they were gathered on the first floor. And this is, of course, Padre Pio's monastery. And that is Our Lady of Graces. And they were, as we said, on the first floor. And then they heard some voices and some shouting coming from below, from the floor below. And it was these words, Viva Padre Pio! Viva Padre Pio! And of course, that is long live Padre Pio. So who was shouting this? And the superior of the monastery at the time, that is Padre Raffaele de Sant'Alia, he heard this. And of course, he called the doorkeeper, Brother Geraldo, Geraldo over and told him that he must go downstairs and he must sort this problem out. He must kick these people out. It is now late. They can come back in the morning and that he must make sure that the doors are proper, properly locked and bolted. So, Friar Geraldo did as he was instructed. He went downstairs and when he arrived there at the entrance hall, he was quite surprised because there wasn't a soul present. It was completely dark. And then he went to the door and he checked that it was firmly locked. And sure enough, it was firmly locked, bolted with two iron rods. No one could have come in or have gone out of that door. So he was a little shocked and surprised and he went back upstairs and he reported this to the superior of the monastery that, as we said, was Padre Raffaele. Now they were all a little baffled. The next morning they went to Padre Pio to ask what was the explanation of this very unusual event that had taken place. Padre Pio listened to their story. And he was just completely calm, not at all surprised about what they have told him. And then he said to them, the voices that you have heard crying out, Viva Padre Pio, were in fact the voices of soldiers who had fallen. They died on the battleground and they had come here to thank Padre Pio for their salvation. So obviously Padre Pio had been praying and interceding for them. And so despite even the horrors of war, all the hatred and the ravages of war, they, they were now on their way to the heavenly homeland. Next time on this channel, we're going to see how Padre Pio restored a vital organ in a child. This organ was completely missing and the child would surely have died without this organ. How Padre Pio intervened. So please do join us for that video. A reminder as well that we do have a Lenten selection of videos and you can go to the video description below, click on the link to our Lenten selection of videos which will help us hopefully all to make a good Lent. And if you're new to the channel, do make sure you, you have subscribed to our channel and click that reminder bell too.